Hey everyone, guess what? It's the final video, and now we are going to do the transplant from the old Rosewell to the newish Super Micro 846. So let's get started. Let me know what you think also of the top down view that I'm going to try today. I have it actually hanging from the rafters. <laughs> Put that off the side because I'm probably not going to use that in the new case. Yeah. This I also will not be using. This is a SAS expander card and we don't need it in the A46 since we have the SAS expander backplane. So this is kind of redundant. This is going to stay with this case and get resold with it. Okay, this is my HBA card. This will transfer over because this is what's going to feed my ports over to my backplane. Okay, that's my internal USB 3 and my boot drive. I'm going to take this off and just put it off the side so I don't accidentally mess up any connectors. Okay, so here's the motherboard, perfectly fine, but before I put it into the new case, off camera, I want to flip this over and get rid of these stupid LEDs, because I don't need it in a server, and there's no good way in Linux to access the settings to change this mystic light stuff. So I got a bunch of LEDs here, and a bunch of LEDs here. I'm just going to go and get rid of them real quick, and then we're going to pop it in. Okay, since we got everything we needed out of the other case for right now, except for the hard drives, which we'll do last, I got the LEDs removed from the motherboard, so let's go ahead and install it now into this. I also opted to switch out the Arctic fan that was on the uh, CPU cooler and put the Noctua Redux that was originally on that fan header. It was off the side here, so this way everything is Noctua, just for the heck of it. Now before anyone asks me, I don't know if this backplane will actually use all eight lanes or not. I'm also just connect them now and we'll deal with that later. There we go. Keeps the airflow moving pretty good. We just get this fan wire bent on over here a little bit and out of the way. There we go. That works nicely. So now let's put in our two fans for the back exhaust. Actually, before we do that, okay, that takes care of that. I don't need the extra eight pin. I have no clue what this four pin's for. <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave it disconnected. It has nothing to do with our type of motherboard. Probably has something to do more so with an actual super micro server motherboard. So we're not gonna use that. Let me get some cable tires and we'll clean up this mess. Okay, that tucks those wires down quite nicely. So I call this clean, good airflow. I think we're done in here. Now, let's get you off of the rafters in my basement and bring you on down and do the hard drive swap. Okay, so now we gotta take the hard drives from the Rosewill caddies, put them into the Super Micro ones. Now, it's at least a little smart, and in between making videos, I did pre-label each one of these drives that I'm going to currently use, even all the way up just for the data drives, but I put all the serial numbers for what I need to use. And the ones that are empty, to improve airflow, they have electrical tape on the back of them since I don't have any of the blank ones and I'm not paying $10 per blank when all I need is a piece of electrical tape and that will work just as fine. So let's start with the first parity drive. That works perfectly. Let me go ahead and take care of the rest of these drives. I'm not going to record that because that's going to be tedious as ever. I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, 
got the hard drives all finished over. Oh, we don't. That's the bottom. Yeah, yeah, that's good. See, Western Digital. So I got nine hard drives in here right now. All mounted up, everything connected except for the power. So here comes the moment of truth. Let's see if she boots up. There we go. Although I gotta do some reconfiguration now for some reason. I don't know why. The RAM's only running at 2133. But let me do some uh, tuning here and we'll be back. Okay, and here's the final boot up, and it is up and running perfectly fine. I just got to turn all my dockers on, but I'll do that later. But all the drives are running beautifully. The fan wall's running great. CPU fan's running. The two little fans in the back are running, and everything's good. So let's close up the case now. There we go. Sucking air right through those hard drives. Perfectly fine. So, that's the end of this project. Thank you for watching so much. Thumbs up, please. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I will try to get to everyone, and I will see you next video.